Hi guys, this is Vishal. In the last tutorial, we saw how can we transform simple JSON request into another JSON or XML format using DWL. This time, we'll take a deep dive and try to get some complex JSON structure transform. So let's say instead of getting a single JSON request, suppose if you're getting a multiple JSON requests or say let's say array of JSON requests. So we'll try to transform this uh, collection using a map operator and see how we can get the different structure either in a JSON or XML format. Alright, so we had maintained this project in my previous tutorial. So we will continue the same just by creating a new flow. So let's create a new flow for us. As we know what we will require to create a new flow first is HTTP connector then we'll need a transform message and eventually we'll add one logger. So first drag HTTP component Con connector configuration is already configured so just give a path I give path as a transform I just make it enlarge all right allowed method is post since we're passing an array of JSONs I save it now get the transform message component drag it in process section all right this is my palette I'll not write anything until I put logger okay so my bad it's logger Append it to the transform message inside message. I'll put payload since I want to print what is I'm transforming now inside this transform message we will be writing our Code so I enlarge it Okay, I just simply remove this curly brushes and type payload Before transforming anything You can change the view and click on this preview button since we do not have anything to transform so we'll just create a sample data so click on this create sample data to execute for the payload select it as a JSON and click on this action small button over here now I have this JSON array which we uh, which I had shown earlier I'm selecting that S click on select click on OK so this is my input array of JSONs. I'm getting this and this is what I'm transforming right now the output type is Java that's the reason it's showing me the array list since I'm not doing any transformation that's the reason whatever the input you have get uh, you have is the same you're getting in the Java format so let's try to convert it into a JSON so see if we get the same I save it see the same input i'm getting in outputs it's exactly the mirror image of our array of json what we have in input data so let's try to transform it in a java then we just simply change the output type to json and see what do we get so as of now i change it to java all right now since we have this as an array of JSON, so before iterating over it, we'll just try to see how we can get the element using the index. So let's try to read the index space elements or JSON request. So I'll try to read first for the zero the element. So if I give payload within bracket zero, the way we read the array elements, so I get the only element from the first index. This is in Java. This is a link hash map and all the elements like id code price date within that plane inside it type and total cities are given in java format so let's convert change the output type to json see what do we get now this is in json format okay i change it to java again now what if we want to read only specific element now if i want to read only price All right so it gives me price since now the name it has given is a root since I'm not giving any name so let's try to append it over by some name all right now price payload zero dot price so it will give me price as a 541 that zero element price value 
what if you want to read all price values in array of json so we have one asterisk operator so we can use after this dot and the pair the dwl will be payload zero dot asterisk price so it will print all the price values but right now you're getting only single because we have indexed it for a zeroth element so we'll just remove it okay then it should give me the all price values see this is how you can get the price values now we will use map operator to iterate over this array collection so i'll change the expressions now i'll just remove all first element tag i'll give as a flights or flight details something like this okay colon payload then map then i'll open the curly braces okay now you can see now we are this is the first structure of map now there are ways to read key and values okay if you want to read key or maybe called index so you can use double dollar this way okay you can read the key now if you want to read values so i'll give it some values simply and then just use a single dollar in order to read all values so inside this preview now you can get the index as a zero the index of the all JSONs within array and inside values you are getting the entire JSON structure see this is how we are getting now this is the first expressions we have written now we just try to play around it and see what do we get now instead of getting reading all values inside the value section suppose if you want to read only specific so again i'll open the brace curly braces within that i'll give like if you want to read code okay then i give simply open the, uh, the expression with dollar for a val reading value dot code right again if you want to read price then again dollar dot price okay simultaneously it's changing the preview now again what if i want to read is something called within a plane if i want to read type so i say no i'll change the name as a plain type and then that i'll read now dot now open it there is a two option plain dot total sets plain dot type now i want plain dot type i'll use it and the last i want total seats so total seats okay then dollar dot plane dot total seats all right i got this so this is my expression created within the values section i am reading only four values code price plane type and total seats so this is what you're getting in java now let's try to change the output type to json so I simply change it to JSON so it will render me the JSON structure so this is how you can read all the values from the input JSON into the JSON structure by transforming into the way you want now let's try to get it into an XML format this is very simple so we just try to change it to XML let's see what do we get all right so we pop up with the one issue let's try to see what it is it says cannot coerce a array to object so what it is basically saying that it expects the mule expression to be wrapped up in a legitimate uh, parenthesis so we just wrap it into a curly parenthesis first i open the curly bracket inside that and just paste this all my dwl expression into this parenthesis all right i just formatted it okay this looks good so this is how you can get the xml form you just want to wrap it inside curly braces and bracket so this is how you can get now we'll try to change this structure again i just simply remove it 
now i want only specific value so i say id i want first so again i'll get dot id okay now i want price instead of price i want origin and destination so i get origin okay then i just get, take origin then finally i take destination okay. then destination okay instead of this index now if you want to give your own tag let's say flight name flight name and you want to give some name like first my flight uh, this is your custom string and this is it okay the flight name you're taking and three tags sorry my bad it's a four tags id origin destination and flight name so this is how you can transform any json structure or array of json structure into either xml java or json format in the next tutorial we'll do exactly opposite of the same we'll take xml as input and we'll try to transform it into either json format or xml format using data view expression language